What's up YouTube and welcome back to the channel. I have been doing tons of research and watching a ton of other YouTube videos. Um, I did, a lot of you mentioned Navigation Nowhere and I had already watched a few of his videos, but I went back and um, I started watching a lot of his videos that were specifically for the short bus build, which is, I think his is a little bit bigger than mine. But I did watch a lot of those um, videos and I'm still watching them. But I've been thinking a lot about the layout that I want. I wanted to do this video before I dug into the demolition of everything as far as like ripping out the floors and the walls and the ceilings and stuff like that. Solely because that will give me time to go through your comments and your suggestions about what you think about this layout i have two in mind and i'm debating on whether or not i think i need to install a shower so that's probably my biggest question i did ask my patreons and it was an overwhelming yes on should i include a shower so i wanted to hear from everyone as well and i wanted to show you guys the layouts that i had in mind and if you guys thought that it was worth it to add the shower so i do want to mention that i want to keep this build as minimal as possible and pretty basic but at the same time i hope that this is my home for at least a year or two so i want it to be as comfortable as possible uh, and accommodate everything that i personally think that i need that's the only thing that i've been on the fence about is whether or not i think i really need a shower so so i want to show you guys the layouts that i have and i want to know your opinions these are the layouts that I have drawn up. So the I measured and it's about seven and a half foot wide by ten and a half feet long and that's going to the um, the wall over here right beside the driver's seat and so it's not all the way to the front just up until that point. As you guys can see on this first uh, layout that I drew up we have um, the door on the front, which I'm thinking that I'll put the litter box right inside of the door. That's still something I'm thinking about as well. But so on this one, if, as soon as you walk in to the left will be bench seating and that will um, pull out and also be an extra bed. And then across from that will be the kitchen. We'll have the sink in the corner behind the driver's seat. We'll have a uh, burner stoves next to that on the counter then we will have a pull a thin pull out pantry and then um, the closet next to that and the very back will be the bed and then at the end because i don't need all of that space um, i'm planning on building the storage that i can get to from atop the bed so i don't necessarily always have to climb on the bottom to get that and then on the opposite side will be electrical and then in the, the middle section will be open all the way to the back door and that will be where the dog's space will be. That's pretty much it for it, the first layout. That's basically a general idea that I've had from the start. But thinking about everything, I'm not sure that that's exactly how it's going to be. I do like that layout. But the second idea that I had come up with is this bottom layout. And so on here, as soon as you walk in, there will be a place for me to put my shoes and then it'll be complete counter space all the way until you get to the bed, which will be, essentially it'll be seating and then that will pull out into a full bed and that will be my bed space instead of 
you know, as opposed to what I had in the first one. So this second layout won't have extra sleeping for guests. And then so I will have a fridge underneath this counter space and then on each side will be extra storage. And then across from that, I have a sink in the corner behind the driver's seat like on the first one and then next to that will be a stove and then I'll have a convectional oven underneath that and then a closet next to the kitchen area plus a full shower and compostable toilet and so this will open all the way to the back I can have the doors open and it just is completely free space and then my bed will you know double S seating when I'm not sleeping and so of course this is just a general idea of what I'm thinking and then underneath the bed will be all of the electrical and then I will have storage in the closet and I'll probably do a little bit of storage on top of the toilet where obviously I'll be sitting down I don't need all that headspace I'll probably do some type of storage on top as well but these are just the general ideas and then I I mean on the first layout draft that I have drawn up I don't have the bathroom drawn up in this but I could easily move the sink and stove over and put the bathroom in the front corner behind the driver's seat which is also an idea that I had I am working with ten and a half feet by seven and a half feet of space and those are my two general ideas that I have so far so with all of that being said, I wanted to get your opinion and see what you guys think. Um, I just like to have a fresh perspective when it comes to things like this and I'm not gonna you know, start on any of that necessarily anytime soon. I do have a lot of demolition, insulation, flooring, you know, doing the walls, doing the outside of the bus as well, the removing stickers, painting it. So there's a lot of things that need to be done before I can actually get started on the inside which means that i have plenty of time to really think and contemplate uh, pros and cons when it comes to the layout so those are just my two general layouts that i have drawn up the first one is what i had in mind from the beginning the second one is just something that after watching tons and tons and tons of videos on youtube of short bus conversions those are some ideas that i had and then i also even thought about doing a murphy bed i'm just not sure that that is something that I think would be worth it. Um, I did see one really cool um, conversion with the Murphy bed that was basically this size of bus and it was super awesome, but I don't know if that's what I need personally. I mean, I'm just weighing my pros and cons and I wanna hear from you guys and what you guys think. And I wanted to do this video first, get it out there so that you guys can watch it and then I have plenty of time to go over your comments. Uh, write a lot of notes down, compare pros and cons, and just go over everything. So I'm gonna get this video out to you guys and I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much for all the advice that you guys have given me so far. There's, I've been watching tons of videos on YouTube. A lot of you mentioned Navigation Nowhere. I had already watched a few of his videos, but I did wind up going back and binge watching a whole bunch of his short bus conversion videos, which have been really helpful. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. And if you guys are excited about this entire process please consider subscribing and coming along for this journey because it's going to be one wild ride i can guarantee that but on my next video i'm going to be talking about all the tools that i just bought to help get started with the first steps of this conversion because i'm literally starting with zero tools i don't have any tools i do now so i bought some so i'm going to give you guys the price of everything and i'm going to show you guys what tools that i use to get started and then i'm going to get started on trying to remove all the stickers from the outside of the bus and again if you guys have any advice on that i've watched a ton of videos you'll see what i bought and what i'm going to try and then there's a few other tricks that i may consider doing if this doesn't go well so i will see you guys on that video in a couple of days and i can't wait to hear what you guys think of my layout ideas and what advice uh, you guys have for them or just ideas and suggestions that you think might improve what i've already jotted down on paper so looking forward to hearing from you guys and i'll see you on the next one